Hi, I'm the Nerdy Nifty Nana, and today I'm going to be talking about baby toys. I have six grandchildren between the ages of one and five, and over the years we have collected a number of baby toys that we use when we're babysitting or when our children are coming to visit with the grandchildren. So I'm just going to talk about which of the toys were popular and which ones were not, and some other factors that I have noted over time about the various toys and which ones I would recommend to you to get for your grandchildren. So I want to start with these musical toys. Both of these are vintage. Um, they're wind up. You wind up the, uh, the, the song and then you get it going. So this one, as you can see, has a little movie happening. And our grandchildren love both of these, but particularly like this one. So I do recommend them. Um, and by the way, I keep the baby toys in these closed and sealed boxes because we have a very old house and occasionally a mouse gets in and I, I just hate the thought of a mouse getting into the toy box. So I always make sure I have the toys inside sealed containers. So just to get uh, talk about some of these toys, well this one for example um, was a big hit with all the grandchildren. It's uh, Amazing Baby Feel and Learn and it's a it's a it's a indestructible little baby book. The pages are crinkly uh, there's different textures on each page. This one is a little bit rough this one is velvety. This one happens to squeak as well. Uh, shiny. Um, there's, these corners are fatiguing. And there's also these little add-on toys to, that dangle that the, the baby can play with. So this is, all six grandchildren love this toy. Um, there's a lot of similar products out there, so I would recommend this for your baby toy collection. Uh, the other, um, this was another very popular toy. Uh, this is called um, Pip Squidge. And they're, they're very basic. They're, they're recommended, I think, I think it's ages six months and up. There's three of them. They have suctions at the bottom that actually suction very well onto smooth surfaces. And these ones suctioned better than any other suction toy I have. And later on, I'm going to show you some of the others, but um, most of them were disappointing. These ones actually did stick on, and they have rattle sounds. And you can also stick the pieces together and create new shapes. Um, so this is, this is a recommended toy. This one was a toy that was designed to stick on, onto baby's high chair table. And so it's got the suction cup. Uh, the, the toy itself is actually very well designed and works really well, very solid and well made. Uh, but the unfortunate part is that the suction does not work and it, it's, it doesn't stay on for very long. And what that means is it doesn't sustain baby's uh, interest in play. It ends up falling on the floor, or once it's lying down, it doesn't you know, spin the same way anymore. It really takes away a lot from the functionality. So I can't really recommend this, even though this part of it was, uh, was actually well designed. This is a, a kind of a teether rattle gr grab toy that I would recommend. It's, um, it was made by Manhattan Toy Company. It's got lots of different colors. There's a nice rattle sound. And babies like to teeth on this. All of our grandchildren like to bite this one. It's easy to clean. There's no holes or cracks that, that water can collect inside, so I recommend that. This is a teether by Origel and it's made of a very soft, kind of flexible uh, silicon type material. Easy for baby to hold, very popular in terms of teething, so I would recommend this one as well. This 
one is uh, made by Obal. It's a rattle, grab toy, and possibly intended as a teether as well. Um, I would not recommend this one because I did not find that it attracted much attention from any of our grandchildren. It just was not popular, barely held their interest, and it wasn't used as a teether either. So that one is thumbs down. This one is a, a very lightweight um, rubber ball. It's I would recommend a ball in general, a lightweight ball like this, because baby can learn to throw and catch and roll, and um, it's very good for for motor skills. But the problem is um, this one had a hole in it, and that is not good because it means that when you wash it, water can get inside. Water can collect and stay in there, and bacteria can grow in that water. And then when baby, you know, puts it to its mouth later, um, that can be a problem. So I would recommend a ball like this, but not this specific one because um, you need to, you need one that doesn't have that 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 hole. Um, any kind of shaker is good for babies. They love them. Um, maybe maybe not a long duration entertainment for babies, but certainly it always catches their attention for a little while. You just have to make sure that it's suitable for uh, the right the age of your baby. This one uh, is a is made by a company called Takiri. It is a, a teether and a rattle. I love this one because, uh, first of all, it's made of natural rubber, and I like any toy that's made of a natural material. I also like the design of it. I just thought it was really a nice, a very sweet design. Um, it wasn't the most popular teether for, the gra for our grandchildren. Everyone liked it a little bit, but it certainly wasn't the number one. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to buy it again, but if you're on a limited budget, there might be some others that would serve you better. And uh, this one is an example. Sophie the Giraffe, very well designed teether and very popular with our grandchildren. It's uh, a very soft and flexible material, easy to grab, no holes, so you can wash it in soapy water easily without worrying about water getting inside it. I recommend this one. This one, I don't know what the brand name is, but this one was designed, it's got these little gel sections that uh, you're supposed to put it in a fridge or a freezer and this gel will either get cold or freeze and then it's to, intended to be soothing to baby's gums. I never remembered to put it in the fridge or the freezer so for me and my personality this was not an effective toy for the grandchildren. I could see how it might be in for, for others, but certainly I, I did not find it helpful. Um, let's look at some other toys in this box. Uh, this is a, a pair of, um, these are soft rattles, and they have a great advantage of being very safe for babies, because if baby hits themselves with the toy, which they often do when they're very small, um, there's going to be no harm done with these ones. They're very soft and, and warm and fuzzy. Um, they make a little bit of a noise, so I, these are actually good toys for um, helping distract a crying baby who's getting a diaper change, for example, or, or getting a clothing change and not enjoying it. So you can just go to keep, it's a good distraction toy. Um, they, they can be a challenge to clean them. Um, I have a very good quality steam cleaner that uh, does sanitize, so I I find that this that is very effective on toys like this. But I could see it being a challenge if you didn't have uh, that type of uh, sanitizing steamer. Another suction toy that also did not uh, stick onto the tabletop. This one's by Infantino. Otherwise would have been a great toy. The monkey spins around on its foot. It spins around on its torso. It spin the head spins. Uh, the beads spin. These beads go up and down. And there's a little mirror here. So fantastic design. Um, 
If only it had stuck to the tabletop, it would have been so much better. I mean, it's not a waste because, you know, baby can still have a little bit of fun with it when it's lying down on the tabletop like that. Um, but it often ends up on the floor and it's not nearly what it could be if it was stuck onto the table the way it's supposed to be. So unfortunately, I can't recommend this one. Um, same for Melissa and Doug. This is their uh, tabletop suction toy. Suction cups were uh, probably even worse than the others. I don't know, they, they didn't work at all for me. Um, which was unfortunate because these beads are really, uh, they were very interesting to the grandchildren. And when I held it down with my hand onto the table, uh, our grandchildren were able to play with this and they really enjoyed it. But I, I had bought these because of our family dinners and wanting babies to be able to be entertained while everyone was sitting around and having a meal. And uh, so it was kind of disappointing when the suction cups didn't work because it made them, you know, not as effective as, as what I had hoped for. Um, toys that would otherwise have been very entertaining. Now this one is a very unique toy. Um, this is put out by the Manhattan Toy Company as well. And uh, it's called, um, I think it's called a Whimsel? Uh, Whimsel, yeah. And, and it's, it's a beautiful toy. And I was so interested in it when I saw it in the store. I just thought there were so many different ways to play with it. You know, you can spin it around um, on any one of its many, many axes. Um, it's also, you know, just for going, putting them in and out. Every perspective, it looks different. I thought it was a great, it would be great, but I have to say that not one of my six grandchildren really took a shine to this. It was something that I did use a little bit when, when our babies were, grandbabies were, you know, on their backs and not able to move around that much. And I would kind of hold it over top of uh, my grandchild and they would sort of bat at it. And it was a little bit, you know, it had some purpose that way. But I just, I expected more and uh, I, unfortunately that did not happen with this one. Um... So this is a Fisher Price block. There's actually a few more that are supposed to go with this set. Um, not a big fan of this this particular item, but um, it's just good to have it in the box with all the others, I suppose. Another Fisher Price item that I wouldn't really recommend because this was a very this is a hard plastic and it was really um, almost never used and of very little interest to any of our grandchildren. So this is a, a somewhat subjective um, review, of course, and but I just wanted to point out some of the the issues that we, some of the things to look out for, and also to think about cleaning um, when you're when you're buying because some things, some toys can be submersed and some cannot, and if they cannot be submersed, uh, that's going to affect your ability to to clean them really thoroughly, very often. Um, but I do hope that, uh, I do hope this has been, a, has been helpful to you and thank you for listening.